would say good morning, but it is early afternoon. And as you can see, I'm still in bed. I haven't posted a video in like a week and a half because your girl has been struggling. PCOS symptoms have crept back up. I'm not sure what's like causing like the wave. Like I feel like after I was diagnosed in November, I did so good for a long period of time. And then I've just kind of been having like, what, what do they call it? Flare ups. I've been having like more frequent flare ups currently going through like a heavy heavy fatigue period where I just don't want to do anything not even like I don't want to it's like I can't I physically can't full-time influencer okay I don't have a high demanding job I have no children any of that but still it's just so tough I'm going to force myself to get up force myself and I feel like bringing out the camera helps me gets me going or at least gives me a reason to get up. Otherwise, I will stay in this bed all day. Like, I really can. That's my little... <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm keep the routine simple. I'm gonna stick to that until I'm feeling like myself again. Get my energy back to where I can, like, really do my routines. Because I love a routine. <sighs> we got this. We got this. You know what's so interesting about the fatigue as well is that it's not even like I'm sleeping <laughs> it's not even like I'm sleeping at all so I'm just laying there physically not able to do anything like I can understand if I was like just getting some extra rest in nope just laying there feeling useless right. adding some more booty wipes to the <laughs> to this little container thing get on Amazon Outside of the crappy fatigue, my diet has been pretty damn good. I probably get more veggies in. I always get more veggies in. Feeling pretty good there. My body feels good. At least I got that working for myself. It's crazy, it's like when I finally feel like I'm in a routine, I'm killing it, all of a sudden my body's like, eh, you need to sit down. I feel like I'm not working out like six, seven days a week. I'm only working out like five five is doing too much and it'd be like maybe four days a week and then i'll try that out this week i'm work out four times this week but still get some steps in and then i'll see how my body kind of responds to that all of these from honor active from my one of my girl vicky she's one of their athletes and she gets so much stuff like so anything that's like double or extra she just gives it to me um and i was i was already shopping at honor active so i love their stuff but she just gifted me like a whole duffel bag, like full, full of stuff. Where are these blue ones today? I'll just put these up. It's the blacks. I got like some gray. These are kind of like a taupey color. They're not really gray, but whatever. I'll put them with the grays. I got green. I actually don't have any orange. Wait, do I have orange? Ah, there's orange. So I'm gonna get dressed. I'm just gonna wear these blue leggings from Honor Active. I believe these are in a small. Uh, yeah, they're a UK small. I'm usually a medium. Um, I still fit the smalls at the current size I'm at. <laughs> I couldn't fit them when I was at 188, but right now I can wear them. And then I'm just gonna wear this white tanky top. And I am a commando girl, but I did have a couple ladies ask me about underwear and panty lines and all of that. So if I do decide to wear underwear or when it's like that time of the month or just sometimes I put them on, there's two kinds that I get. You always just want to go seamless. Target has this brand. It's called Auden. A-U-D-E-N. Auden is the name of the brand. And they're extremely like thin. But then Alphalete also has like their own version that it's super, super, super thin. And just like, it just lays really flat to the skin. 
If you're looking for something, Alpha Elite has them, but you can go to Target. white tank top is from Zara. Just anytime I go to Zara, I'll always just grab like their basic tops. They're like eight, nine dollars. So anytime you see me with just like these basic white tanks or black tanks, sorry. Just don't even get me started on this hair. <sighs> An absolute mess. There is this natural hair specialist that I found. I've been wanting to see her forever. Just like helps women on their like hair journeys and stuff. I'm gonna book an appointment with her this month to just kind of get started all over. If she wants to chop it all off, then go for it. But I'm starting a whole new hair journey. Hopefully the last hair journey. Obviously my hair was thinning. That was one of the symptoms that I had with PCOS is like my hair started to like was just thinning out and just kind of just shedding like crazy. But what I notice is I have so much like new growth, like my hair is super thick to probably like right here. And then it's like really, really thin. And that's why I stopped doing wash and goes. And I was just doing my flexi rods just because I don't like when you can see through my hair. <laughs> and down here, like you can see all through that when I'm doing wash and goes. So we'll see how much she actually wants to cut off. And I am not shy with my hair. If we need to, chop it all off and start all over then that's what i'm gonna do i'll definitely take you guys along for that starting my new hair journey and you guys will see the whole process on to the oral hygiene so just before bed i'll oil pull and then brush my teeth i used to oil pull in the morning not i don't think it makes a difference but i don't really like to eat afterward you know so In case anybody was curious on the products that I use, my oil products, I have, I just use Glide for, um, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Oh, <laughs> dental floss. I'm not sure if I, there's a better brand. I don't know. And then my toothpaste is the Crest Gum Detoxify. And then the TheraBreath Oral Rinse. That's what I use. Saltaire deodorant. The thing is, this deodorant works really, really well, but I will say that I, I do be sweating under my pits in the gym, you know? If you have a natural deodorant that you don't sweat from, because I feel like all the natural deodorants I've used, like, I be sweating under my pits. So if you have a better one that you don't sweat, let me know. I don't wash my face in the morning. I wash it after the gym, um, but I do, obviously, sunscreen sunscreen okay so i did pick up the black girl sunscreen again because i was like you know what i've been using it a while let's test it out immediately started to break out <laughs> so yeah no more of that for me i'll stick to my korean sunscreen brand i have the cost rx sunscreen i only have a little bit of this one left use the super goop i've been using this one i don't have any current like active breakouts right now but I have tons of hyperpigmentation on my face. And this is from the flare up that I had like twice in a row. It's just been hitting this side of the face for some reason um, because this side is clearing up. I just have hyperpigmentation right there and right there, but it's, it's not bad at all. This side on the other hand, I don't, it's always this side, but I am gonna get a chemical peel and actually go start seeing a dermatologist. I found one out here that I'm gonna go see. I'm going to be in the sun and I'm going to be out and about this month. So I'm thinking of like getting a chemical pill and everything in August because I don't have anything planned for August as well as September, like August, September, and then we're into fall, you know, so August and September, I don't have anything planned. And then of course my birthday is in October. He's like hug the waist though, like, you know, snatched. Time to put something on my stomach. I go through the same things over and over because I'm a creature of habit. And it just helps you stick to your plan better when you just know what you're gonna eat and have. The thing is, is that I'm not really hungry, but I used to do a protein shake and go to the gym. In this weather, in this heat, that is no more. I have to eat something. I always do two wasa crisps with peanut butter and strawberries. And so instead, I'm just going to do one, but then I am going to have a protein shake as well. I 
Obviously, I do still weigh out my food. Still in a deficit, but just a very small one. So if it seems like I've been in a deficit for a long time, it's just because it's not a very large one. Slowly losing weight because we want to keep it off. I use the PE Science um, Select Vegan Protein Powder. this whole thing is 472 calories for all of this which is 52 52 protein and 39 carb so 52 grams of protein start the day off oh i got a new camera broke my last one i upgraded from my zv1 to the zve10 the good thing about this one is I can switch out the lenses. Right now I have the stock lens, but I've been using Teron's lenses because he has tons of them from his camera. And the quality is just top tier. This one is just basic, but you guys will notice when I start to switch out the lens. It's time to head on out. And then these new balances are my favorite for everybody to ask. These are the 530s. And they're like, they're black, white, silver, and blue. I don't know if anybody else is like a cup person, but I'm like, oh, I need that cup. If I buy it, I'm gonna drink way more water. Okay, this, this simple modern, I'll put it down below, I'll link it. Ever since I got this cup, I've been drinking so much water. 40 ounces, this cup, like it doesn't seem like it would be 40 ounces. I'd be going through water. I love it, it doesn't spill. I know everybody's like on the Stanley. So modern is pretty popular too, but I like this one way more than the Stanley cup. And it's cute. And it got tons of colors in it. Okay, so I'm not taking you guys to the gym with me today. If you want to see my workout, you can check out my last video, which was like a full week of workouts. Because I'm doing just the same thing. I'm just gonna show you really quickly what's in my gym bag. I have a full duffel that I'll take, and then sometimes I'll take just like my smaller backpack. Since I'm not filming and taking my camera gear, I'm not gonna take my big duffel. Lotion, hand sanitizer, and then a tiny deodorant, as well as some perfume. A headphones, or my, um, it's my Beats ones. I got those. And then, I'm actually gonna take a book too because I'm just gonna walk and read. Obviously the gym is super loud, so if you guys don't know, when I walk, I'll play like rain music, very, very loud in my ear, or just calming music. And so it kind of drowns out the gym. I am currently, I'm still reading the Zodiac Academy. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but this is book five. There are nine of them and, and she's thick, she's hefty. Because I'm gonna be hitting some hamstrings today, I'm gonna bring my Bursa grips and this just helps with gripping a barbell or heavy, heavy dumbbells. That way you're not focused on your hands and your forearms trying to grip something heavy and you can really like, you know, challenge the glutes, challenge the hammies. So the Versa Grips are the only thing I need today. So I am going to be just editing just a couple short form videos just for like TikTok. So I have uh, this little connector, the little adapter thing. You plug this into your phone and then you put your SD card in here so I can transfer stuff from my camera to here. But obviously I don't transfer like massive footage. Like I wouldn't transfer this type of footage. It's usually like things obviously that I shoot vertically and that are specifically for like short form content. Apple Watch. I'm gonna switch it to the black band, which is in my car, so it can match me. And then in my settings. I got these in Fashion Nova for like six bucks, and I was seriously looking for something for this shape, and I couldn't find them anywhere. But Fashion Nova had them for super, super cheap, and they're actually pretty good. Mm. <gasps> Y'all, I'm tired. It's hot outside. Whew. Babe's in there cooking us breakfast. I'm about to take a shower. Cool down a little bit and then eat. But I just needed to, just to lay here. 30 minutes of cardio. And then I talked to my friend Ajali for like 45 minutes. And then I did about like 45 minutes of glutes and hammies. And then I had like one more exercise to do, but just couldn't even do it. It was just so hot. 
Look at my face. Look at my face. Oh my gosh. Some turkey bacon, three shrimps, two eggs, and then I got probably like half a cup of mango.